Hey everybody, my name is Danton McGorgas, and welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. In the last episode, you know, we're, we're playing as Daniel. Uh, we have to like kill Ag Alexander for some reason? I don't, I don't know what's exactly going on in the wine cellar. I'm just gonna see what I can do. We gotta get get down there we gotta oh I keep on jumping I, I gotta oh can I play it uh, I guess not not important oh all right what the Oh boy. Fucking. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. The castle. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until shadow start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay. Well, that was nifty. Maps. Damn. Kingdom of Prussia. Central Prussia. Seventeenth of May. 1839. Mm. My hands tremble. Quite. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Tribulation. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. Very superstitious. Strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength. Riding and down the wall. Down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. Oh, I was trapped. It's a trap. Does anyone remember that, uh, what was it? It's like a Keen and Kel movie. I don't know, but the song, Very superstitious, riding down the wall. That was, that was in there. I, it was a Keen and Kel movie. Two heads are better than none. Man, it's a classic. Really good, you know, funny horror movie. I mean, it's Keen and Kel. They're having a good time. Okay, I'm trapped here. What the fuck? That's not what I want. Did I get a... What was my... Um, a journal. Must find a new way out of this area. The door leading to local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? 
chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Okay, so we need to dissolve that block in our path. Oh, there we go. What? Fragile, but breakable by hand. Eh. There we are. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. What the fuck? Okay. Can I like... <laughs> Fucking damn! Well, that solves that. Local folklore. I'll stand in Bedenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstand, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and, and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg, the quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is the picturesque as we can be, as, as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Okay. Ask any local and you'll hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to allow some ambition to steal living creatures. Okay. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks draped behind them, dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Henrich Cornelius uh, Agrippa, the well-known erudite, <laughs> visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During this day, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the, the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Hendrik is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alstadt. And like most of those noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by the fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, ah, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring have never been fully recorded. This is 
fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of his country. Okay. A lot. A lot. A lot happened there. Is this? All right. So we got a little back backstory, a little lore. This looks suspicious. A draft and a faint light are coming from behind the shelf. There must be a way in. Can I move this? be a secret book to pull okay that's a thing Right, yeah, okay, a little puzzle. Easy. Oh, give me the key. The wine cellar key. Fuck, hold on, look. Let me gather things. What is this? Regarding closing of the wine cellar. William and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the force and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock William and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be a sense solve. What? It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Okay. Feed them the wine. All right. I guess we can leave now. Something opened up. All right, this opened up. Okay, so we're back here. Oh boy. I get to that wine cellar now. Oh. Not a good time. What we have we here? Oh! Okay, we're falling. I feel like ice cream so melting into the floor. Shout out to Muck Sticky. Unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity. I really Stay lifted. It was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground. Gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself... Dark nothingness. I like that. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. 
The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. The empty taste of nothingness. The sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind suddenly sweep across his face and his dry, crusted lips. Say, <laughs> oh shit! Whoa! Oh! Damn! We got a dinosaur. Okay. Uh, where was the wine cellar? Use the key to unlock it. Alright. Uh. <laughs> That's just gonna be my thing now. It was done, the men said. The tomb has been had been revealed. Tin Hanan awaits, grinned the toothless foreman. Damn. Beware, saying in the darkness. Oh, I don't have any. Uh, I'm gonna go insane. I can't see anything. <laughs> Got that wine, my boy. I see you. Oh, fuck. I don't have. I can't see anything. It's cold. It's so cold. No tender boxes. Oh, bad. This is so bad. Calamine. Oh, that's one of the ingredients. Oh. I can't see shit. <gasps> okay. Can you... I need stuff. I'm leaving off here. Thank you all so very much for watching. The play philosopher quote of the day is, sanity is a madness put to good use. George Santayana. And I thought that was appropriate because of course the whole sanity aspect. Better to use your madness for good than bad per se. I'll leave a link to the last video I did on amnesia, the dark descent, and also a playlist to Made of scare! I know the horror game I've been recently playing. And also ran a video. And if you like the video, consider subscribing, sharing with a friend, hit that notification bell, you know, say what's up! And I will see you all in the next video. Later.